you were not about to let this team lose. Tell us about that second half and just kind of what went off in your performance. Uh, I mean, I just felt like none of us wanted to lose. I mean, we were trying to get back on the winning streak, trying to get back on the right track, things like that. So, uh, I mean, I just try to come up with big plays. Uh, Cody made big shots, and I kicked out to him too. So, the, the Quan Lake, the dunks. Remy, Kamani with great minutes. So, I mean, everybody, Mickey with the big stop at the end. So everybody contributed, and we got a good win today. Anything in particular spark that Ron after the under 12 media timeout? Just um, came back from down 13. I mean, uh, the crowd helped for sure. But I, I just felt our energy pick back up. We kind of came out a little lethargic for the second half. And we knew, like, if we, did, we didn't change something quick, this game was, we we're going to give this game away. So our energy picked back up. We were picking up full court. We were pressuring the ball. And we were speeding them up so they can play at our pace. And we were waiting for them to play at their pace. Shane, you didn't score in the first half. Uh, was it more of what they were doing to you defensively, or were you trying to just get other people involved? Or what? Uh, Coach Shirley didn't give me the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I blame that on him. <laughs> I should have had 40, but. He didn't give me the ball in the first half. He gave me the ball in the second half. You see what happened. You feel me? So I just talked to him about that. Did you say something to him about that? Uh, yeah, I told him to give me the ball. It's like, no, I'm playing. Uh, I mean, it was just like, it's how the game goes at the time, you know. Uh, I, mean, I wasn't getting shots, but other guys were. So I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to win at the end of the day. So if I'm not getting shots and we're winning, I'm cool with it. I just want to win. So I was just cool trying to go out there and make plays. You know, it seemed like you guys, I mean, good things happen when the guards penetrate and all, and maybe those last eight minutes, it seems like that part of the game picked up. Was that a conscious thing? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we were preaching that in the locker room, just trying to get on transition and use each other, because we all can create a shot for ourselves, but we get higher percentage shots when we drive and kick and things like that. So we're just trying to use each other and feed off each other, and I feel like that's what we did. What's the takeaway for you guys for these last two games? What, what do you take from that? Uh, just trying to rebound better. I feel that's our big emphasis right now. Not necessarily the big men, but guys like myself, Trey, Remy, Cody, the guards getting in there and trying to grab like five to six rebounds a game. I feel like that would help. So that's probably like our big emphasis right now. What was the difference tonight in the paint? I mean, you guys won in the paint as right. opposed to the other day. Uh, I mean, I, just, I feel like we just more, had more energy tonight. Um, guys were trapping with high hands and things like that. We were playing uh, rotations and guys were being in the right spots uh, later in the game rather than early in the game and things like that. So just knowing our defense assignments and I mean, then the ball started going in when we started playing defense and things like that happened for us today. Cody, you grew up here. The energy in the building the last couple games, have you ever seen it like that here at all? No, but we definitely we, we uh, fed off that tonight. I mean, there was big plays and a three-pointer felt like six points, literally, because the crowd was so big, and just things like that. And then you would get an hand one or something like that, or a rebound or a dunk. And I think that they got they got a little rattled because the crowd was so loud, and it was so great to see. Shannon, the other day you said it felt like teams are out to get you guys because you guys are so hard. Do you feel that pressure even more here at home, and just constantly teams that are coming back after back-to-back -back losses and coming out on top? Yeah, I feel like we got a big target on our back, uh, just from like all the publicity we had in the non-conference. So we just got to take that for what it is and be ready to come out and play every night. Did you guys, did you guys seem to play better when things are down? Why can't you just kick somebody's butt from start to finish? Man, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know for real. Like, I don't got the answer for that. But we, we just want to stay together. You know, uh, There's times in the game where we go down, like you said, you know, five to ten points or whatever it is. But the biggest thing is just staying together and using each other and believing what the coach say. And I feel like that's what we did, for real. You got a lot off the bench today. A lot, yeah. Jaquan and Kamani in the second half. What, what do you think happened with those guys getting it on? I mean, that's great for us to get uh, them going, kind of. When Remy gets his a couple buckets, his energy it picks up. Same with, like, gets something, he sees something coming his way, his energy. So just be able to have their energy off the bench. Like I said, I told Remy in a timeout that we, we feed off his energy. So when he gets going, it's big for all of us. So. I, I love to see him get going early because we, we literally feed off of his energy. What did Coach say to you guys in the locker room that second half? Because at first it seemed like there was a lot of miscommunication, a lot of missed opportunities. Kind of just yelled at us. I mean, he just told us to pick it up for real. Uh, 
I mean, we got great leadership on the team, so I mean, we kind of just answered the, answered the bell when we said pick it up, guys. Just really try to wake up, and and we had a lot, a lot of meetings over the past lot of days, just with the captains and with the players and the coaches and things like that. And guys just want to get back on a winning streak. We want to get back to what we did in the non-conference. So I, mean, I feel like we just woke up and came to play. What does, it say about, what does it say about your team to pull off the win despite the train going one for nine? I mean, it shows a lot. He's Without him, we wouldn't be where we're at. He's, he's a great player. He's one of the top uh, point guards in the country right now. So without him, we wouldn't be where we're at. So to be able to pick this one up and win this for him, it's for, this for him because he was he went out there and still fought even though offensively it wasn't his night because team they were literally focusing on him so he went out there he gave us his all defensively he tried to make plays for us so I mean this was big for for us to kind of win for him because without him we wouldn't be where we're at. Did you all have, have meeting different than normal? I mean, so you were talking about meetings. Yeah, we were just we just wanted to talk about like what was going on. Uh, the last few games and things like that, and just trying to get back on the right track. And I felt I felt like guys were just uh, being honest with each other. And we took it for what it was. Uh, nobody really got like butt hurt and nothing like that. Um, so I mean, that shows the character in our team, and guys are growing up and, and actually want to win. So I, mean, I feel like we're just changing, trying to change the culture here at ASU, and uh, take this program to places it's never been before. We'll get coached next. If you guys want to get those guys in the hallway for something extra, you can. We'll let them cut them loose. Yeah.